Hey, if you're driving during this pandemic, you're probably worried about COVID-19 transmission, and there's good reason for that. So you might be looking for a practical and affordable and easy to use shield that can protect you and your passengers from contracting COVID-19. So stick around after the break, and I'm going to tell you all about the new Fixie Cover Shield for drivers. And if you watch till the end of the video, you're going to find out how to save $50 if you want to buy one of these things. Hi, this is Gabe Etzhoken with the Rideshare Guy. And today I'm going to tell you all about the Fixie Cover Shield. Now, what is the Fixie Cover Shield? Okay, the Fixie Cover Shield is a clear polycarbonate barrier that's designed to be easy to install and come in and out of your car just in a minute or two. It is designed by a company out of Amsterdam called Fixie Cover. What Fixie Cover does is it's kind of like a, a beginning to end software based solution for getting uh, insurance repairs accomplished. And what happened is uh, they started, uh, you know, losing some business because of the pandemic. Not as many people traveling, fewer accidents. So they weren't making as much money. And to keep their engineers employed, um, they said, hey, uh, why don't you guys uh, design us a barrier that our uh, passengers or our customers can put in their cars? And that kept their engineers employed. And uh, also um, because you can take your car into one of these repair shops to have the barrier installed, it also sends a little business uh, their way as well. So Fixie Cover claims that their product is really popular with drivers in Europe and they've sold tens of thousands of these things in Europe. They say it's popular because it looks good, it's well designed and it's really easy to take in and out of the car. So I decided to uh, find out if that was true and we ordered some. Fixie Cover doesn't claim to protect you from all uh, chances of getting COVID-19, right? Because it's not designed to go all the way up to the ceiling. It's not designed to totally seal the driver from the passenger. Um, because for one thing, that's going to uh, limit ventilation going through the whole car. And also your passenger is not going to get the benefit of air conditioning or heating. Uh, but it's going to prevent kind of the bigger, heavier particles of uh, of moisture containing COVID-19 viruses from, uh, you know, from transmitting too far from the passenger and driver. One advantage of this uh, barrier is that you don't have to alter your car at all. You don't have to stick anything in there, nail or screw anything into your car. Uh, it really just uses uh, vel uh, not even Velcro. It just uses uh, zip ties and a little Velcro belt that you put around your seat. Okay, so now you wanna know how to install the Fixie Cover Barrier. Um, it's pretty easy. You uh, get the box, comes in a nice big box, and you uh, cut the box open, you pull the Fixie Cover Barrier out. It's a 1.5 millimeter uh, polycarbonate. By the way, polycarbonate is uh, really strong plastic. Uh, make sure you pull off the protective film before, right when you're ready to install it, otherwise you won't be able to see through that, right? Um, that apparently is a common customer service complaint that they get from drivers. I can't see through the barrier. Uh, so uh, one thing that I found you had to do was it's not gonna match your car perfectly. In in the case of my car, a uh, Chevy Bolt uh, electric vehicle, it, uh, it wouldn't clear this thing here. So I had to uh, mark it and make sure you measure more than once, make double sure, because then you're just gonna cut it with a big pair of shears. I used a pair of kitchen shears, uh, cut through that material really easily. It's uh, it's pretty strong stuff, but it's soft. And you, So once you make sure that it fits, then you're gonna use um, the included reusable cable ties to go around your, um, to go around your headrest. And then also, there's also some long kind of Velcro belty kind of things that go around the seat. The last thing you're gonna do is uh, take the stickers that they give you that tell the passenger to put on their seatbelt. By the way, make sure you tell the passengers to wear their seatbelts because if you have to stop suddenly, you don't want your passengers flopping into this you know, plastic barrier. All right, now you wanna know what it's like to actually drive around with this barrier. And like other plastic barriers that I've used and you can um, check out our other videos, please do. Like the other barriers, um, it's surprisingly unobtrusive for both the driver and the passenger. And uh, it's unobtrusive, but it still lets air circulate. 
and uh, you can still reasonably and easily communicate with your passengers. The passengers appreciate that you're kind of taking that extra step uh, regardless of its possible effectiveness. And of course, I haven't gotten COVID-19, but of course I've only done a few rides with barriers. So I can't really tell you anything about how good this is actually gonna be um, to prevent disease transmission. Some things I didn't like about driving with this barrier. I mean, yeah. it's not obtrusive, but you definitely know it's there, right? So when you're driving at night, uh, reflections from headlights and street lights and stuff like that are gonna show up in your rear view mirror when you're looking in the rear view mirror. Um, and uh, you know, that, that can kind of be distracting. Um, if the passenger turns on uh, their dome light in the back, uh, you're, that's definitely gonna reflect and be really distracting when you're driving. Uh, another thing you notice is that, uh, you know, it, it's made of this thin plasticky stuff. So you're definitely going to hear the squeaks and kind of little crunching sounds as it bounces around and, and squeaks. Um, if you move your seat forward and back, the passenger seat forward and back, or your own seat forward and back, it's also going to make the barrier flop and wiggle around. And then when you're driving, especially if you have the, the windows down, and by the way, you definitely have to keep your windows down when you're driving with a passenger, you have to keep yourself ventilated. Otherwise, you're gonna be breathing in that same air that your passengers breathed out and vice versa. Um, so you gotta have those windows open. And if that's the case, it's definitely gonna cause a lot of like, whoa, 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 especially at higher speeds. And another thing you gotta keep in mind is, um, you know, one way to boost the effectiveness of this product is to keep it clean, right? Um, so, because, you know, the COVID particles, they can live on hard surfaces for, you know, a long time. So you want to go back there periodically and clean it with some alcohol. Now, when you clean polycarbonate or plexiglass or soft plastic like this, you don't want to use paper towels. You don't want to use Windex. You can use vinegar or just plain clean water and a soft cloth. So what did I think of the Fixie Cover Barrier? Well, I, I mean, I really liked it. I've used very similar products and it did everything that those products do. You know, it doesn't reach all the way up to the ceiling. It doesn't seal you off from the passenger. So, I mean, I really can't say how much it's gonna help you, but it sure makes passengers feel better. So I definitely recommend driving with the barrier if you're gonna be driving during these times. I also liked how the thin polycarbonate is really easy to trim and shape. If you really wanted to spend some time, you could get a really perfect fit to your car. And by the way, they make these in two different sizes. So if you have a minivan or an SUV and you need something bigger, um, you know, they, they've got a product for you. Uh, but at $100, you know, it's it's a lot of money. And I've seen other products on the market for less. Um, you can see some of the products that I found in my other Shield review. Uh, however, uh, I did get a code that you can use if you want to go and buy one of these things. And keep in mind, uh, I'm not being paid or compensated in any way by Fixie Cover. Um, they did give me one to test, but I'm going to give it away as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, but uh, hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks, so I thought I'd share that with you. So basically what I've found using this Fixie Cover Shield is that it's a really nice product. It's nicely engineered, has kind of a nice story to the product, um, and it shows that Fixie Cover cares about its drivers, and they kind of made something that's kind of interesting and easy to use, and I really appreciated it. So I think uh, if you're looking for a barrier and you think this might work, it might be a good way to go, especially if you save $50. Um, and if you don't even want to pay $50, check it out. Make sure you post in the comment section below and we are going to select 10 winners and give away 10 of these barriers. So make sure you post something in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to the Rideshare Guy video feed on here on YouTube. Thanks very, very much for watching. Stay safe and don't drive yourself crazy.